Okay, another week down. Uh, the good news first. I am down to 358 pounds, which means I've lost 49 pounds since January. And that also means that I've lost 69 pounds since my heaviest weight. Um, I did a lot of things this week. There wasn't a whole lot of notes. I also, at the end of this, uh, the blog on the webpage, I thought a lot about what I was going to write and whether or not I was going to put it in. I went ahead and decided to leave it in because that was part of the deal. I was supposed to be as open and as honest as I can be. Now, I've noticed this week that the the newness, the shininess has kind of worn off. Uh, it just it became more obvious this week with a lot of stuff that's going on and trying to get things done and trying to uh, meet both obligations and things I wanted to do. School, you know, came to a crunch. Where I just finished two uh, final exams for astronomy in the lab. I still have uh, an effective speaking class that I have to finish, and then that'll be it. I'm not taking classes in the summer because I want to try and get some other things done. Um, I'm trying to think of, of what I can really say that hasn't been said before about the concept of of something, the, the newness of something wearing off. Um, you have hard days, and, and sometimes at the beginning you have some harder days than you have later on, but they're not as obvious. The The harder day is easier to deal with because you're still riding that wave of excitement. You're still pumped up. Um, you know, here we are, uh, I guess, like starting our sixth month, the sixth month of this, of this uh, latest effort to become fit, and it's... A bad day is a bad day. There's a lot of stress floating around, and you know it, it's. You get home, you're, you're still doing it. You've got time for the workout, but then you know you don't want to do it. And 80% of that battle is getting yourself just to start the workout. For me, I'm doing the high interval, or excuse me, high intensity interval training, and it's only 15 minutes. It's only 15 minutes. The hardest part is, is getting me to the point where I've pushed the, the start on the timer. Um, once I've pushed the start. It's 15 minutes, I'll all go. So that's good. I've, I've had to push myself a little harder lately simply because I think I was I kind of shot for reaching a certain goal with my with my work and uh, workouts and my efforts and my food. And I hit that goal and didn't really keep pushing. So I've had to you know reinitiate that push. I've also heard some, some bad stories recently about some uh, people who are working hard to lose weight. They're trying to do the right thing. And other people are making fun of them. And, and it's just brutal. So, this is where you earn what you're trying to accomplish. This is where you earn, this is where I'm going to earn my fitness level. This is where I'm going to earn the date with Natalie Portman. This is where I'm going to earn um, what I'm trying to accomplish. This is where I've earned it. It's not luck. It's not a gift. It's something that I will have earned. Um, and I think that, uh, I think that it'll be worth it in the long run, obviously. And, I'm hoping I'll look back at this and go, wow, was it really that hard? Because it doesn't, I don't remember it being that hard. That's kind of what I hope. I hope that it doesn't remember the way it feels sometimes. <laughs> so I hope that if you're one of those people who's looking down on someone who's doing something wrong or has a misconception, I've dealt a lot lately with people saying, oh, you eat six times a day for your metabolism, when study after study shows that the metabolism is not affected by that. So things like that you don't look down on those people you simply point them to the scientific studies you, you tell them that hey this is the information I have I hope you can use it it kind of ties into what I said last week about not beating somebody to death with a fitness stick you, you have to present them with the information and let them make their own decisions and let them make their own and reach their own understanding um, okay so with all that said I'll pass you on to the notes I hope you have a great week if you don't it's your own fault you need to make that great week you need to let go of the stress and you need to Focus on the positive and do whatever it is that gets you to the next step, to the next level. All right? Much love from the big man. Okay, um, it is Tuesday. I am getting ready to do my 30-day fitness challenge. It's actually 35 days, but this is when we're doing it. Um, so I'm going to go do that, and then I'll have some results, and I'll actually post them uh, on the blog itself. I have also promised to do my impersonation of Elvis singing in Russian, but that'll be a little later. So, uh, but that'll be in these notes as well. Here I go.